Hey everybody, I'm back with a comic book haul. Uh, this haul will have the books that I picked up at the uh, Super Jersey Comic Expo um, last Saturday, October 28th. Uh, picked up some mostly dollar books. Um, what else is new? Um, but I also got a couple of sketches, which I haven't gotten sketches since the Baltimore Comic Con that I went to before COVID was a thing. Um, so I was happy to finally get some sketches and uh, picked up a slab and got some other pretty cool books, which I will uh, show you folks right now. We'll obviously start with the, the dollar books. So all the books that I'm about to show were, were just a dollar, so I won't say that after every book. Um, Thor, number 326. So this is the first appearance of the, the, the Scarlet Scarab. This was a um, pretty popular book when the Moon Knight series was on. Um, don't know if it still has the same popularity now. Thor 328, just a run filler, um, pretty nice shape. Some high grade uh, Bronze Age books. Um, I think from now on when I see high grade uh, Bronze Age, be it Marvel, DC, or anything, I'm just going to start picking them up and putting them away. Um, I think Bronze is going to now be becoming the new Silver Age, and Silver Age is the new Golden Age, since the Golden Age stuff is getting unobtainable uh, at a reasonable price. but. If I can find nice books like this, uh, The Shadow, number three. Superman, number 293. A random issue of Star Wars that I did not have. I'm going to start putting that run together. And then uh, something, a little bit of something from my childhood. Welcome back, Cotter, number three. And then this really gorgeous, maybe gorgeous is too strong of a word, but this really cool uh, Somerset Holmes book. Um, strictly a cover by. Checks a lot of boxes. Uh, it's got that kind of EC horror type feel to it with, you know, the, the woman with, the, with the, uh, the scissors getting ready to stab that dude. And it's got some good girl art going on at the same time. It's got some things going for it. Got some Marvel team-ups um, that are in really nice shape and uh, couldn't beat the price. Number 46. Number 48. Number 49. Number 51. And number 52. Got all those. Found another book for my dad. I'm going to hopefully put a nice little stack of Blondie books together for him for Christmas, which will be here before we know it. Um, and then got another issue of Thor for my run. I got this uh, variant cover that was done by Jay Ansoletto. Uh, it homages the Adam Hughes Power Girl book. Uh, I really like his art. Um, I need to start getting more of it. Um, so I found that. Found some Perillo stuff. Man, I have these Perillo covers already, but if I'm going to see them for a dollar, I'm just going to get them and put them aside and maybe trade them someday or do something with them. Um, there's a lot of people out there who dig his work. Uh, another artist that I... I love is uh, Nathan Zerdy. Found that. And uh, this was a pleasant surprise. I found the Rocketeer one shot by Adam Hughes. That's an awesome cover. Uh, let me get a little bit closer on that. I forgot what this went for. This was just a $5 book when it first came out. Um, I think it's my second copy of that. That's a book. If I find multiple copies of them, I'm going to pick up. And then, it's the last of the raw books. Uh, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number nine. 
first appearance of Azrael. And then Detective Tom Comics number 27. I don't know if this is too far away or not. I don't want to get out of focus. There we go. All right. Um, there was one seller there. Just a quick story. He had a ton of dollar books. If you were at the show, uh, he was kind of right in the middle there. And it was like a, like a pit full of dollar boxes. But there was one box that had some really nice books in there that shouldn't have been in there. And they were priced. And uh, when I went to check out, you know, they were starting to total me up. And I'm like, these were all in your dollar bins. And long story short, uh, he honored the sale. He said, no, I meant to cross the prices out on them. But they're supposed to be a dollar. So I'll show you what we got. We got Madman number three. From this mini series um, number two and Madman number one uh, what's cool about number one it came with the cards that you see there but it was also signed um, if you look closely by Mike Allred so that was cool um, I don't have a Mike Allred signature I would would I like it on the book probably uh, but that had an $11 sticker on it, and the other two had $5 stickers on it. Picked those up for 3 bucks. That was pretty cool. Found the Modern Comics reprint for Peacemaker, number 2. It would have been cool if it was the number 1, even in a reprint. Uh, so that was neat. I found some Charlton Horror books, so we got... The all-new Visit Ghost Manor, and it's in really high grade. I mean, it's a all, almost all black cover, no spine ticks on it. Even at eight dollars, that would have been a good price. Um, but again, got it for a buck. Some more Charlton Horror, Doctor Doctor Graves, Haunted Library. Another all black cover um he only had a five dollar sticker on that i mean maybe these books don't go for much but i was going to grab them uh, 1976 i think this book is from and then beyond the grave number 13 and then he had a 35 dollar sticker on this uh, the modern comics reprint number one for scary tales this is from 1977. It reprints the 1975 issue. I grabbed that just because I'm a big toy collector. Um, big Jim's pack. That came with, I guess, some sort of figure or playset or something like that. I remember the ad in the comic books for, for, the, for this toy line when I was growing up. I never had any of them. Just the... Uh, cool back cover to madman comics number four um I'm, i picked it up solely for the dave stevens cover incredible hulk 13 i think it was the first appearance of the demon hulk that was a thing and then i grabbed some ec reprints uh, he had 12 dollars on that so i got these from my spinner rack so this is number, I don't know what number that is, number, number six, Vault of Horror. Uh, this has some EC reprints, and I actually have the original cover um, for this. I don't think, I don't know if it reprints the contents of this book. I haven't cracked it open yet, but uh, Vault, The Haunt of Fear, number 22, it's uh, pretty much the same cover except for the order of these guys here. And then the last book is Haunt of Fear number five. It has some water damage on it, but I got it strictly for just to stick in my spinner rack, um, just to fill up all those slots. I want to fill it up with all these EC reprints. I think that will look cool when it's done. Okay, um, just a couple books left. I am a big Olivia fan. I love her art. I pick up her uh, 
the calendar she does every year. Um, I like to try to find the card sets that came out in the early 90s that she did. But this is a catalog uh, that she had did, done, put out. Uh, back, it was 1993. I paid uh, $13 for that. It's got some nudity on the inside, which I won't show. But I will do the wraparound because it's, it's not that provocative. Um, but is that picking it up? I can't tell. Maybe we'll just put it on here for now. So picked that up for 13 Thought that was pretty cool. The insides we definitely can't show. That was the only wall book I picked up. Oh, I shouldn't say the only one. The slab that I picked up was a wall book. And then I paid $5 for this um, Evil Ernie Special Limited Edition. Uh, my friend Joe was with me. He goes, I sold a copy of this once for $60. Bucks. Um, so this was $5, but the difference between mine and his, mine was signed by Polito, uh, has the COA on the back as well. So that, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool score. I don't know what year this came out, uh, but the COA is from 1998. Really high grade copy of this too. I mean, no spine kicks at all. So got that. And then just have a couple more things to show you guys. I picked up whoa, this slab for 40 bucks. He had 60 on it, and I asked him if he would do 40, and he did. I love, love Perillo. Love this cover. Um, got it in a 9.8 now. I don't have many slabs in the collection. I think this is my only, my, only my second Perillo slab. Uh, so that was a no-brainer for me. And then I did get two sketches, as I had mentioned. One of them I'm more happy with than the other. I got a Mike DiCarlo Batman sketch. I'm really not in love with it. Um, it didn't come out as, as I had hoped. I had, uh, but, you know, obviously it's better than anything I can do. But I had paid him to do a full bust. And I gave it to him at 11 o'clock that morning. And long story short, he didn't start doing my book until four o'clock the con was over at five o'clock i don't know what he was doing it's he didn't didn't look like he had a lot of sketches to do i, I got a feeling he rushed this because i i finally said something to his son who was sitting with him i'm like hey i gotta go um so he i think he hastily did this sketch and then when he gave me the book back i'm like i, I paid you for a bust so he gave me some money back I, do i sound like sour grapes maybe um Maybe I was just mad because I had to sit around waiting extra time just to get this book back from him. But what I'm not upset about is this awesome sketch by uh, Ghost Rider artist Bob Budansky. And uh, he was sitting next to Amy Chu, who writes for Red Sonia. If this was a, uh, an Amy Chu book that uh, she had written, I would have gotten her to sign it as well. That would have been really cool. But the I paid $55 for, for the DiCarlo sketch, and I paid $60 for this. Um, I think the Red Sonia sketch is worth way more than that to me. Um, you know, just, just came out so awesome. So very happy to have that in the collection. Um, first sketch I've gotten since Baltimore Comic Con before COVID. So maybe 2019. So it's been a while since I've been able to get a sketch. But that's my haul. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of other books here on the floor to, to show you guys uh, in the next video. I also went back to the shop that I picked up all those amazing dollar books. And uh, I grabbed the rest of the bronze and silver age stuff that they had. Um, it's not as cool as the other books that i shown in the last video that a lot of people thankfully saw. But... Uh, still had no business being in the dollar bins in the condition that they're in um even at five dollars a piece so i made out ahead um 
and then I have some other flea market books to show. But that's all for now. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, until next time, bye for now.